Hello, welcome back. So I think after I destroyed the missile, I got this over here, Link to Triangulation. I might have got it before then, but I don't know. It's, it's weird. It just appeared over there. I researched it and now I can fast travel using only the map. It's great because that's our next objective. <laughs> you can just click on the map and you fast travel. That's amazing and it's actually pretty fast. The, this game is so optimized. Now, let's do the digging. Oh, I thought I would find the key, but nope, you have to do the digging. Hmm, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't take. Come on, that only took me about, what, 5 seconds to find it? Let's have the scrapyard key. Okay, I forgot, I have to go all the way up to open the gate. That will take a while as well. Yeah, another great quality of life element added to the game. But I, I could say at this point the game is a little too easy. I mean, it was never hard, but now it's really... It's really, really, really easy. We can fast travel, we can teleport, we can do anything except survive alone or the fall. So I guess this is the last area of the game, or at least for me now. Hmm, interesting. I guess it will be amazing to farm this car. Mm, not amazing, but pretty good. And after that, we'll have to go and see what we can do with the flowers. I had all the flowers. Yeah, some of the crates contain gold, that's interesting. One man punch. <laughs> Or one punch man, yeah, one punch man. Yeah, piece by piece. Not that it's luxurious bathroom. But I guess the I really like to destroy houses, the developers. I guess that's the objective, so I'll head the different rock the opposite way. It's pointless, this was already like a different game. <laughs> I can remember the good old days where I only had a crowbar or no, when I had a baseball bat. <laughs> this treasure island, I guess there will be something hidden over here, you can show all of the cards. Hmm, or maybe I'm wrong. The cards look like they're cartoon characters. I oh, need a few flowers over here, just in case I didn't find all of them. I guess... Ah, let's do all of them, that's why I came here. Total annihilation, no mercy. Ah, barely worth the experience and the time. <laughs> that's a safety device, don't break it. Now, as usual, we need again the fishing pole. <laughs> That's one way to clear the debris. 
say I've been farming a little bit, probably about 20 minutes to search for the flowers and also to search for other things, but I think I'm mostly done with the DLC as well. Final, final quest. And then at the end of the video, we might try to escape again to see if anything changes if you do all of the objectives before you leave. Oh, uh, what? Uh, okay, it's over here. That one was already smashed. <laughs> a shotgun. We we have a normal shotgun. I completely missed the shotgun. We have the son of shotgun and now we have a proper shotgun. Very interesting, so we have a proper shotgun now. Well, I guess we'll not be able to upgrade it because we're probably missing some materials at least. But we can compare it to other stuff we have. Now, with the ammo box and the bandolier, you can probably just make a full range character. Well, the only one that makes sense is the fisherman now. Oh, and I still have to build my base. We have the Sword of Shotgun, which is 40 piercing, stun enemy chance, and running speed. Slow enemy chance. I guess you have to upgrade it once again. Oh, this also improves my running speed. Well, that, I hope it doesn't make obsolete the Sword of Shotgun. Lumber and mana, okay. Mana shield and titanium. See, it also stops at 4, so the running speed is... Well, what would be the point of the other one? I guess the other one can stun, but this is the same damage, but it has more uses, right? I guess we can check it out, yeah. It has double the number of uses. Running speed is the same, stun chance, and that will slow down the enemy. Same thing, so I don't get it. Why would they add two items of the same kind? They should have added an auto shotgun or something. Well, I guess the auto shotgun would have been too powerful. I guess we can check out the spread like this is a shooter game. Well, the spread is much better with this one, but I don't hear a distinct sound, so I guess they didn't add two sound effects. Yeah, sadly so it uses the same sound effect as the other one, so I guess it's one of the reused items. I cannot say this is a new item. Especially because they look so similar. What do I say? They're basically the same weapon, yeah. But it's a pump shotgun, you should hear the pump after you shoot it. I guess if they add the sound effect for the pump... That would justify it more or less, but otherwise it's meh. It's a meh weapon. I guess we can try out the other stuff. Oh. I guess we would, we would need the ammo box. Wait. The ammo box is a skill, right? Or, I mean, the specialty item. Oh, this is the material collector. I even forgot to have the skills. Look at this monster lure. Painkillers. 
Monster scanner? What do you do with the monster scanner? No, it just shows you the... All of the enemies on all of the islands. That's actually a very cool item, huh? I think this will have a massive range. Let's check it out. Massive range, and it seems like it has infinite uses. Okay. I forgotten about. I had forgotten about all of these things. Nearby materials. Perfect. Okay, let's go over there to the botanical lab, which I forget what it is. Botany Laboratory I guess we have to look at the filters Oh, it's all the way over here Okay, that, that would have been something super hard to spot <laughs> Ah, this tiny so yeah, you can find them in the jungle, in the normal area, and of course in the colder area, or, or kind of like on all spots of the map. Build limit, build limit plus 20. Oh no, I have to find 40, but where can you find these things? I barely found the ones I needed, as it is. I guess it's one of those annoying quests that you have to do flower power. Yeah, no, it's one of those super, super hard to do quests that you'll barely be able to do. It's, it's a hardcore quest. If you want to do this quest, it's a hardcore quest. You have to scour the entire map for the flowers. You'll basically be destroying everything. You see, just for the little, little chance, you might get an extra flower. And that might be it. Well, I guess we have one more thing to do right now, and that is going to go into the basic map and then leaving the area. Let's see if something changes. I mean, from the looks of it, we'll have another DLC 100% because they don't explain what the what the father is or how how this all ties in together. I sneezed. I guess you still have to use the level transitions. I don't think this will change then. It will still fly off and then crash back down because they say they. This happened in other times as well, so the result will always be the same unless we break the cycle somehow. <laughs> we are back to the island. Sadly, this DLC didn't have a lot of overpowered items or ability, just a lot of utility. This can go anywhere right now. This is definitely one of the easiest. One of the easiest and most useful ways to kind of improve the grind for the game. I mean, I can teleport over there, which is huge. Beforehand, you could teleport to the towers, but now you can just teleport everywhere you like. I guess I didn't use the entryways. Let's, first of all, let's see how the entryways work. If we can enter them and that will mark them as used or found. <coughs> Your lungs, your lungs are safe. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting, but kind of useless. Not very useful, I'm afraid. I guess you can use them as a one-shot weapon against the bigger zombies. And I already completed this underground area. Oh, okay, I guess I still need to install a jam triangulation stuff. Well, I guess I have a lot of things to do in my free time if I want to complete the entire thing now. Cinematic in progress? What cinematic? Okay, let's see what, what are the things we need to install to the tower. Oh, campfire triangulation. Deadly transmission. It's okay in a way that. I guess I never really cared for the reef. They needed a lot of resources to be opened or to be used. Okay, this is a big area of the map I didn't even explore at all. Probably nothing useful. Delicious picking stuff. I guess we should open this and see where it leads us. Now, this is how you recognize a digging spot. I guess I can search the entire island at some point and get all of the fancy stuff. I would say not really worth it. So this is what? Three portals that I opened? What? Oh, you can teleport even here. With the, all of the telephones. That's kind of a funny location to teleport in. You'd be there. At, okay, that's that's actually pretty fun to do. But again, let's go back to our main objective, which is seeing if something changes if you finish the game with all of the DLCs installed and done. That was... that was a chunk of damage. Somehow I don't think this is the right way. Why is it hard to find the launch pad? Hmm. Because we have to go through the entryway? No, no, no. I distinctly remember not needing to go through the entryway. Might be needed, but I don't think so.
Oh, I forgot about that death pit. Well, I guess... What now? Can you switch the maps? No, I think this is still a problem. What if you choose to fast travel? Huh. No. I guess you still have to do it manually, which is a bit annoying, so... Uh, some of the mechanics of the game would need more refinement, to be honest. Like, you should be able to... To only respawn on the map you died. I uh, probably that's a feature they'll... They'll... Uh, make or they'll introduce at some point. I'll have to suggest that on the forums. We are back. Because that chemical plant was also a location they added more recently. I'm not sure if there's anything there. Okay, let's move slower and slower this time. I think I'll just make more videos with the finished game, more or less. I don't want to go to New Game Plus. I probably have to go at some point. But what would that mean? What would that mean if you start a new game? You would have to play all of the content until you can access the new content. Well, more or less, but it would still be annoying to do. Or maybe new game plus allows you to keep all of your... All of your things. So, we have a huge ICBM, a huge missile, we destroy huge mechs and we have to escape the island with this little thingy. Unbelievable. It doesn't have even seatbelts. Okay, let's keep this. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. So I escaped and left everything behind. Again. Again? It was the accident, of course. Yes? Something wrong with the escape pod thruster? Oh. I lost my arm, but that was only the beginning. Again, again. <laughs> you caught some... Okay, let's look at this. Updated statistics for me. 12,000. You have to kill them one, one at a time. <laughs> That's a lot of meters. A lot of plants, oh, a lot of structures, yeah. 832 times. Died 304. Well, I don't admit any of those. 141 hours. Only 100? You are not vegan. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one to name at the end. I guess people will have to replay the game now so they, they will get the you are a vegan achievement. <laughs> yeah, that would be so funny if you had to replay the whole game so you get the you are a vegan end screen. <laughs> Amazing. Let me check my playtime. It's 166 hours. 167 hours. Well, I guess that's because I played a new character in the early access. So I restarted once. Great game, I'll have to complete all of the additional objectives. I mean, it's so easy right now if it, because I can just teleport to the campfires without doing anything else. So, hey, who was a smart person for not <laughs> for not grinding everything until the DLC is well released? So this is the perfect time to grind everything down. Teleport all over the place, do all of the quests, do all of the fishing spots, all of the... I mean, I can fish so fast right now compared to... If you do all of the fishing spots in the beginning, it will take you 10 hours. If you do them now, 
It'll probably take you two hours or something crazy like that. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.